Hello everyone, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 4 of the Minecraft 1.15 Survival Let's Play. In the last episode in this world, we did a lot of work around the village, we saved some villagers, and we also built this awesome looking greenhouse. So this world's going along really good so far. I think it's really awesome. I'm super excited to be doing another episode. Um, and again, I gotta say it, I just wanna say really fast, thank you guys seriously so much for the crazy support on this series it's so insane how the first episode i just released a few days ago and it's almost at like 30,000 views now which for me is really good so thank you guys so much i really appreciate it but we have some things to discuss before we actually get into today's episode so in the last episode i asked if you guys had any suggestions for a name for my second dog we have my first dog Bjorn here, he's just chilling, but then we have this second dog, and I have decided based on a comment to name the dog Sammy, and that's because the comment will also be the person who will be entering our big book filled with awesome people, and this comment is from Chewy, um, and I'll, I'll spell his name, I'm not sure if I'll pronounce it right, but it's Chewy, and then Tui? I don't know, there's a why there. But <laughs> anyways, uh, he said, Only OGs remember when Jay Wisp coughed every other sentence. But really, you were the one of the best YouTubers because you care about your audience. Also, I think the dog should be named Sammy because of the Sammy people that inhabited Scandinavia. So you should keep the Scandinavian name trend going. And I like that idea. I think that's cool because Bjorn is, you know, really inspired by the name of people in like Norway, Iceland, Sweden, you know, places like that. And so Sammy kind of goes along with that. So once I get name tags, I'll throw them on them so I can actually name the dogs. And also let's put the book back in here. But we're making a lot of really good progress in this episode um, and in this world in general so far. We had a really good start with the village and everything like that, and I think things are going to go really good for us. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm still relatively poor in this world, so in this episode, I want to do a big kind of mining cave adventure, see what we can find, try to get lots of diamonds, try to get some obsidian, things like that. Um, Normally, I would do mining off-camera, but since it's still the beginning of the series, I don't want to do really any mining off-camera just because I know some people will either think I'm cheating or maybe feel like they missed out on content. So I'll do that, but also, just so I'm not mining the whole episode, I do also have one kind of build project I want to do. I'm not sure how long it'll take me, but I think it's something that'll be relatively easy. So, to get to our village, we have this kind of hill we need to overcome, and it's kind of annoying having to jump up and jump down every time I want to go from one side of the village to the other. I can't speak today. <laughs> but what I want to do is I'm thinking like maybe right here making some kind of tunnel that just goes from one side of the hill to the other and decorating it to make it look nice, not just making a big hole in the earth. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm going to mess around with a few things and see what looks good. And let's see what we can come up with. All right, so let's go to our chests and gather some materials. I still haven't made any sort of chest room or anything like that. I might do something in the future. Um, for now, I've kind of just been throwing my items randomly around, hoping for the best. Uh, but I think what might be a good idea is let's do this, actually. So let's put one block of coal in each of these furnaces. And let's start smelting some cobblestone because I think... I want to start using some more stone brick in some builds as well. I think that'll look nice. Um, let's see, though. What should I do here? Let's go to the other side first and start from there making a tunnel. Where should I do it? Let's let's actually do these two blocks right here. I think that'll be the best. So let's just break through right here. I don't know how big I'm going to make this tunnel. I, I mean, I'm going to make it relatively small. I don't want to make it super big. Um, <clears throat> I just want to make sure that there's a way for me to actually get through just because I don't I don't like jumping on top of this whole thing I know the hill isn't that big but it is still sort of obnoxious and annoying that it takes up so much space and I kind of want to excavate this area around here and hopefully make you know all these hills a little lower like for example up there like with the floating islands and stuff like that and over there I kind of want to destroy those but I'm gonna wait till I have you know some diamond tools with good unbreaking and good efficiency otherwise it'll take way too long to mine all of that so all right here we did and on the other side all right we made it so what should I do let's experiment with some things really fast let's make a crafting table just so I have sort of an idea of what I want to do clear out the area here <clears throat> 
I also apologize, my voice is a little dry right now. My voice isn't really cracking, it's just... I don't know, it's dry, so it's a little hard to talk. I've been talking a lot lately, I've been trying to record a lot of videos, um, trying to stream a lot, and also, I've had a lot of coffee today, because I'm pretty tired, and coffee really makes my throat dry, but I don't think it's a big deal. Anyways, so let's see, what I want to do is, let's experiment, let's make some slabs, see how that works out, maybe make some stairs as well. And then, how should I do this? Should we make the tunnel a little bigger, or do you think this is big enough? Let me see what I can mess with. Maybe if I did... Let me just do a border of spruce wood and see what I can do from there. So if I have this... Let's do a little more with it. Let's put some stairs down. Like that. And then maybe a spruce slabs? Except let's have them going the other way. Oh, oh wait, no, that's not going to work. Like that? Okay, and then what I want to do is let's go grab a little bit of the stone that we have created and I just want to mess around with using some stone brick too because I think stone brick looks really good with spruce wood. I think it's a good combination. So let's mess around with that. Turn the stone into stone bricks really fast and then let's make a few stone brick walls maybe. Have some stone bricks just sitting there, but I think stone brick walls would be a nice... What is that? Oh, that sound. Ugh. <laughs> I hate the sound of squids getting hurt. It's so weird. They like, ugh. They gush around and it's gross and nasty, but let's see what I can mess with. I don't like the way that looks. Let's try maybe making some stone brick slabs as well. Maybe I should make this entirely out of stone brick. I know I don't have a lot of stone brick, but it might be a nice little detail. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't look too bad if I do that. Maybe I'll just do, like, stone brick on the outside. Hmm. I'm not sure. That doesn't look too bad. Let me make one set of stone brick stairs to see if maybe that looks good, too. I'm just going to flop around with some stuff, see what looks good. I mean, that looks kind of good. It doesn't look super fancy. Maybe if we did stairs instead of the slabs here, that would look better. Just to add some more texture. Let's try that. Okay, I think that looks good. I can dig that. You know, maybe, I'm starting to think, maybe I should make this whole tunnel out of stone brick. I think it'll fit the tunnel vibe more than using spruce wood. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a sec um, and just... Actually, yeah. I'll put all my coal blocks in the furnaces and just smelt all the stacks of cobblestone I have uh, and turn it into stone brick. And I will be back with you guys once I have done that. Okay, I'm back with many stone blocks. <laughs> um, and what I did is, while I was waiting for everything to smelt, I simply dug out the tunnel to make things go a little quicker so all I'm gonna really do is make this entrance here out of straight stone bricks and then fill it all in and what I want to see is I think since stone bricks are enough of a decorative block I think I can literally get away with filling this entire thing in with just stone brick and I think it'll still look pretty good um, I also had the idea I was thinking I should probably make a few lanterns and put them around this area I think it'll make it look really cool um, but let's just fill this all in really fast and then I'll make an entrance on the other side and we can see how it looks so for this side I think what I should do is let's make the stone brick be built kind of into the ground here and then I will continue the thing with the slabs and stairs let me make a few more stairs um, just to finish this off and then I think I'll have enough slabs so let's see so if I do a stair here and then a stair here and do slabs okay that looks pretty good it's not the same as the other one but what I can maybe do is just does, will that look too weird if that's all exposed like that I don't know I'll see Actually, you know what, let's make this dirt. This will turn into grass, hopefully. Um, if not, then I'll remove these stairs, but I just want to have them sitting on grass. I think that'll look the best. And there we go, we have that. So let's go make a few um, lanterns really fast. Where is my iron? Iron, and then I need some torches. Okay. There we go. And then I'll just place these. Let's do one. Oh, I can't place it under the slab, can I? I can just do one, like... Hmm, how should I do this? I have to think here. 
I could literally, yeah, I could just do one in the entrance like that, and then one, like the other one, I'll just do like there. I think that'll be enough light, but yeah, I think that looks good. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, I like the design. Looks pretty good. So let's go back now. Let's put all of our items back, and then we can start a mining adventure. So what I want to do is I want to grab all my torches. I'll also make a few more because I'll probably need a lot of torches. Um, let's grab a little bit of coal I do have left. <clears throat> I'll make some torches out of all of that. And then I still have some torches. Grab our diamond pickaxe, just in case. I'll grab a little bit of wood, because I usually need wood when I'm mining in case I need a crafting table or anything like that. I do have a crafting table that's extra, but I'll just bring the wood. And then also a water bucket. And then I'll bring the potatoes, because I don't have a lot of food. Yeah, I know that's a lot of random food. I'll just bring it all, because I'm not sure how much I'll need. Especially, you know, if I find a mine shaft. Or if I'm in a cave and there's a lot of zombies or spiders and I need to constantly be at full health, that means I need to constantly eat. So I want to play it safe, but to go mining, let's head down in our ravine here because in this ravine we have a little cave and hopefully the cave will lead us down into a deeper cave or we can find another cave using the method I used in episode 2 to find caves and diamonds easily. So, oh no, the poor cat, I'm sorry. I didn't want to scare you in here, but we already explored this area. Let's check... Over here, I forget. What does this area have? Oh, this is the one that just blocks off. Well, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mine then. And I'll turn on my subtitles and try to find a cave or something interesting. And I'll be back with you guys once I have found that. All right, so literally all I had to do was mine a few blocks. Um, and if I go down here, actually, at first I went over in this direction and just looked around. There wasn't much. There's a little area that leads to a lower cave. But as you can see, we are in a mine shaft. So it's not the lowest mine shaft. I don't know if we'll be able to find a lot of diamonds in here, but we should still be able to find a decent amount of good materials. So let's explore this mine shaft a little bit. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. Um again, even though it's not quite low enough to have any diamonds in it, we might still get some good items. Plus sometimes mine shafts have lower levels that'll take you to a different part of the mine shaft where there could be diamonds or there can always be diamonds in the chests. So, if we find if we find the chests might find some good stuff. Also, we might have the possibility of finding name tags for our dogs. Maybe finding a few music discs, which are always fun to have. Uh, but yeah, let's just kind of float around and see what we can explore. So, oh, okay. <laughs> this is a big mine shaft. And in a ravine. And what the? Do you guys see that? I've never seen a spider spawner literally just in the grass. Oh, gotta be careful here. Come on, creeper, explode. There you go. I wanted it to explode just so it would kill itself. Um, oh no! Oh no! Oh no, there's too many! Retreat! Wait! Go back! Hold on. <laughs> I need to eat food really fast. I need to regenerate a little bit of health. That was scary. I thought I was gonna die. I don't have any apples yet for golden apples, so I need to play it really safe. <clears throat> Alright, let's head back though. Um, cause they're worse. Oh, there's a creeper. Okay. Nope! Nope, just explode. Please. Okay, we didn't take much damage. It's okay, though. We're pretty safe. Um, oh, okay, a lot of skeletons. Let's be careful. Alright, that skeleton's down there. Alright, good. They're both in the lava. <laughs> um, let's just keep checking this area out. This is a really weird mineshaft. It's in a ravine. There's a lot of mobs. The spawner was so weird. I know some people are going to yell at me for breaking the spider spawner because I can make an EXP farm out of that. But honestly, I usually don't have trouble getting EXP. All I do is do a bunch of quartz mining and I find that to be the most efficient and quickest way to get XP. Um, <clears throat> and then from there, what I'll do is usually by the time I have every item fully enchanted to level 30, I can use some easy exploits um, to get mending books really quickly. All you have to do is, you know have your lectern and just place it by your villager multiple times until you get a mending book trade and then just trade a few times to try to get the mending book and that's all you have to do it's pretty simple but yeah let's take that spawner out too i know i just hurt some people's eyes but yeah this looks like a really big mine shaft there might be a lot of stuff we need to explore i hope i don't get lost i know i've literally just been running through it i'm not really exploring this in the most efficient way but i'm kind of just trying to get <clears throat> a gauge for what's around me and, you know, all that stuff. Because we're getting a little bit lower here. We're in, like, level 22, 21-ish area. And if this mine shaft goes even a few more blocks lower, we should be able to run into some diamonds. So, 
that should be pretty cool. <clears throat> if not, though, hopefully we can find another cave that's low enough to host some diamonds. So let's check it out. We already went that direction. There's a lot in this mine shaft to explore. I know people are also getting yell at me for not getting all the iron, but also when I think about it, I should get some of this coal now that I'm pretty much out after smelting all that cobblestone. Um, I don't really need to get the iron though, because I already have ov over a stack of iron in my chests, I think, which is more than enough. Um, I have full iron armor and tools, and I have enough to make a few more sets if I ever need to. Um, also, I have enough to make some iron golems. Um, but again, with iron golems, I don't really know if I'll need to because I think I have created enough conditions um, in my village that will encourage iron golems to spawn naturally. So I think we should be okay with that. If none spawn, though, I might make a few just in case. You know, I like to make sure I have a few iron golems in case it does become nighttime because I've had this happen in worlds before where it was nighttime, I wasn't paying attention, and all my villagers the next day were zombie villagers and <laughs> that really wasn't fun to see so all right i don't think this mine shaft is going to have much though so i'm not too interested in exploring it i'll explore it a little bit more simply because i want to see the chests but down here this little area is getting kind of low so we should be able to hopefully pretty soon maybe find some diamonds so here's some lapis i'll take that because i know we're going to do some enchanting soon i brought my diamond pickaxe with me and what I'll do is I'll mine a little bit of obsidian. Um, I'll mine some for an enchanting table and also maybe mine some for a nether portal. I don't know if I really want to make a nether portal yet. I don't really like going to the nether until I have pretty good armor and tools like diamond enchanted. Just because I know if I go into the nether without the proper equipment, I'll just get totally destroyed. You know, sometimes I'll accidentally hit a zombie pigman. You know, sometimes you have ghasts shooting at you from every direction. So, you never know what's going to happen. I like to go with pretty good armor. I might go, though, if I can get some enchanted iron armor. Maybe if I enchant it, you know, for protection 1 or protection 2. That might be good enough. <clears throat> I'll have to see. Because another thing I run into a lot is I'm often not very careful in the nether. And I'll fall and die of fall damage. So, I don't want that to happen. Alright, that's a dead end, so let's go to that little area that stretched down a little bit, see if we can find some diamonds in there. Where was that? Was it over here? I think so. No, it wasn't. Oh yeah, it was. Okay, here it is. Hopefully it's not just a dead end. And I think it's a dead end. Well, I saw some water falling from the ceiling. Does that mean there's a puddle nearby? Maybe? Oh no, this is okay. Nothing special here. Let's put a torch there to get this water to stop flowing. Oh, wait. It's from higher above. Um, let's just block it off. That should work. There we go. Alright, let's put a torch down. Get this lapis. I won't need a lot of lapis. I think lapis is one of those things where it's really easy to get a lot of it. So I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> let's check in this direction, though. Let's block this off, too. No, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. Oh, we have some lava above us. We got to be careful. I'm surprised the lava didn't burn through the wood. Um, you know, I have a, I have literally like a stack and a half of gold. It's not worth it to get that little bit. Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> I would have died if I if the oh my god, that creeper blew up right on top of me. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even see it. Literally, as I saw the creeper, the first thing that went through my head was, "Oh man!" Like I, I've just conditioned myself to hear Captain Sparkles when that happens. All right, but let's check out. There's other parts of this cave. This goes lower, and there's nothing down there. Okay. Well, if I don't find any diamonds today, I won't be too hurt about it. But what I'm gonna do is, I've pretty much explored this entire area. I'm gonna get back to the main area or the ravine or just some kind of place where I can kind of collect my thoughts and figure out what I should do next. All right, so I made my way back to the ravine and actually I had a slightly interesting find. Um, I found one of the chests and there weren't any diamonds, but I did find a few rails and then an enchanting book with channeling. So um, I don't have really anything that'll be too useful for channeling, but I think what I'm gonna do now, I've explored pretty much most of this mine shaft. Um, I'm sure there's some parts I haven't explored, like that part, just because it's so it's such a big mine shaft. I might come back here in another in another episode. 
But I think what I'm going to do today is I'll head down to Y11 and then use this method I use where I just look at the subtitles on the side of my screen and use that to hopefully try to... Oh, what? Oh, it's the zombie. Um, to hopefully try and find some caves where I can find some diamonds. So I'm going to do that really quickly and hopefully we'll have some good luck. Alright, so I found this little cave and I've been exploring it a bit. I've been placing this water to kind of um, get rid of the lava and also to create some obsidian so I can hopefully, you know, let's break this pickaxe really fast. It's bugging me that it's not broken. I hate when items are at low durability, um, but I want to mine a little bit of this obsidian. So let's actually get our diamond pickaxe. But also, I was trying to look for diamonds. I went over here and I found that there's more of the mine shaft. But this is too high up to find diamonds because diamonds only spawn under Y16, I believe. But then I went this way a little bit where there was a little bit more lava. And when I was mining, I looked way in the corner there. There's some diamonds. And also what I'll do really fast is I'll turn on my F3, my coordinates, um, because a lot of people were using this seed. Like a lot of, I have the seed in the description. A lot of people said they're using this world. And so... I'm just putting this out there. If any of you guys using this seed want to know uh, the location of some diamonds, uh, here you go. Because if you're like me in this world, you've had bad luck finding diamonds, even though I normally have better luck. So here we go. Let's see how many there is. One, two, three, four. Is it just four? You know what? Just four diamonds. But you know what? I'm good with that. I'll take it. I think that's still a pretty good number. Um, but yeah, if any of you guys are using this world, you can head over there. Um, also, the reason I'm showing the coordinates of my diamonds is because... Um, people, whenever I like explore a cave and then just start recording and say that I found diamonds, people always think I spawn them in. So I'm just showing my coordinates. <laughs> I guess I don't feel like I have to prove myself, but I think I feel like I have to prove myself. I don't know. People like sometimes think I spawn them in or stuff, but like, honestly, that just ruins the fun. So you can check it out. I found some diamonds there, but before we leave this cave, let's check out some of this mine shaft over here. Cause this part looks pretty interesting. I'm just going to run away from all those mobs. Maybe we can find another chest. That would be pretty cool because that could have some more diamonds in it. But also, um, I don't want to explore too much longer because I am pretty much totally out of food. Um, oh, here's a lower version. And, you know, I don't really want to die. I don't really have a way to regenerate health. The only way I can is if maybe, again, I found one of those chests. Um, oh. Oh. Okay. Um... Found a secret area. Uh-huh. Anything interesting down here? Any diamonds? Oh, no. We're still pretty high up. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, I'm pretty much out of food. And then what I'll probably do is head back to my house. Also mine a few blocks of obsidian. Probably just enough for a portal and then an enchanting table. So, a portal, you need ten minimum, I believe. Yeah. And then the enchanting table, you need two. Yeah. Is it two? trying to think yeah it's two i can't think maybe it's three i don't know i'll get i'll get a little bit extra just in case um but i'll do that but then before we head out let's explore this last little section here i also see an enderman and even though i'm low on health i think i want to kill the enderman simply because i know it's rare to find them oh god he was coming for me i don't want him to come for me when the creeper was there uh, oh god no oh, okay well now i'm out of health okay you know what that was horrible i'm dumb I jumped straight into the lava. So you know what? Let's all right. Let's get, let's get into a safe place right now. Um, let's block this off. That was dumb. I should be safe right here though. So what I'm gonna do is I'll I'll just head back up to my house because I don't want to explore anymore. I'm about to die. That was dumb on my part. But yeah, I'll meet you guys once I'm back to my house. All right. So we're back in the village here, and actually on my way back up, I found a few interesting things. Um, so I chested everything. I found a few pieces of bread, um, which helped me kind of survive a little bit longer. But I also mined the obsidian. I ran into a little cave. And actually, right next to the cave was another one of the mine shaft chests. And in the chest, I just found some powered rails, some seeds, random stuff. But we also found one name tag. So not the two that we need for both our dogs, but... We have enough to name one of the dogs, um, so I will probably make an anvil and then name one of the dogs. So that'll be pretty awesome. I'm super excited for that. Anyways, I think that's all for this episode. I apologize about two things really fast. One, I know this wasn't the typical episode. Most of my episodes will be centered around a building project, but some of the episodes will just be around caving or exploring or doing random fun things around the world. Um, so if you like that, you know. 
then that's good. <laughs> um, but also, I apologize. I can't really talk today. I might be a little out of it. It'd be a little weird. I'm just feeling a little under the weather today. I'm kind of tired. I'm out of it. I'm all hyped up on caffeine to try to keep myself awake. So it's a little bit of an off day. But regardless, I still hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a really fun episode, and I love this series. I'm super excited to see where the rest of it goes to. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is Jay Wisp, and I will see you all in the next one.